What's going on, Tim 3D? Let me tell y'all something. Uh, I'm on the way from work, by the way. I'm going home, relax, read a few books, you know, get my set, to, you know, get my stuff together. But let me tell you guys something. You would never understand how powerful you are until you make an oath to yourself. And I'm dead serious. Like old jokes aside, laying aside old jokes, you would never know how powerful you truly are until you make an oath to yourself, to the world, or whatever. But most importantly, to yourself, because I really believe that you are assigned to no one else but yourself. Yes, we have to service each other. I really believe that we have to serve the world and stuff like that. But before you can serve the world, you have to serve yourself. Before you love people, you have to love yourself. Before you strengthen someone, you have to strengthen yourself. That's why as I'm fixing my mistakes, I'm also teaching others because I can't be drowning in my own, in my own failures and at the same time trying to help others, right? So you cannot accomplish anything grand, anything on the grand scale until you first get up Pull out a piece of paper or whatever and write down a promise that you're going to make to yourself where you swear that where you have a vision, you have a vision for your future, for the world, for your family, whatever, and you swear to yourself, which is what an oath is, you swear that you will not rest, you will not sleep until you accomplish that. Until you do this thing, you will never understand how really powerful you are. And if you don't understand how powerful you are, you will never really unleash your full potential. Every man and woman out there, I truly believe, has to pull out a fucking piece of paper and a pencil and write down their vision, what they wanted, their ambition, you know, whatever they want to see happen in the world, whatever they want to see happen in their own lives, right? Uh, a, a personal ambition, a personal goal. It has to be huge. I don't want to fucking hear, I want to be a doctor. There's millions of doctors out there. If you're going to be a doctor, then Team 3D, dominance, discipline, direction. What's the first letter? Dominance. If you're going to be a doctor, then tell yourself, I'm going to be the greatest doctor that's ever set foot in the fucking hospital or if you're gonna be a, a, a whatever you know like in, in, in the medical field just tell yourself I'm gonna be the one that's gonna find a cure for whatever is incurable you cannot set a goal that someone has already set before I cannot stand it when people set basic shitty ass goals it, 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 it drives me nuts because we are supposed to build on the success of other people you know as I said the reason why I see further than everybody else is because I'm standing on the shoulders of giants he looked at those at the discoveries of those the men that came before him and he capitalized on that. You can't set a goal that someone that's already accomplished. You're just repeating, you know, you're just repeating the past. The past already repeats itself, so don't add to it. Set your own personal goal to 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 become better than the, those you admire the most. If you I don't care what your passion is, right? Your goal should not be a mediocre goal. Right? That's why I, I, I teach to all my friends and I try to inspire in them is to go ahead and make an oath, you know, swear to them so that they will become something that the world has never seen. You guys hear me say this over and over again. Your own fingerprints, your own DNA, your own niche, your own features, your own personality. So if you have so, so, so many unique features, why do you set a common goal? I mean, it's common fucking sense. If you're unique, your goal should be unique. If you have your own fingerprints, that means you should make your own mark and no one else should be able to copy that whether before or after you. But it begins with an oath. You have to make an oath to yourself. I'm not going to... You know, you don't have to be, you know, personal about it. You don't have to go on YouTube and announce to the whole world, but you have to make it your own personal goal, your own personal oath. You have to tell yourself, look, I swear to myself that before I leave this earth, or even if I die trying, I will accomplish this. And only then will you have direction, which is the third letter in Team 3D, direction, purpose, a sense of vision, you know? And it, believe it or not, having a vision, having a, you know, a goal, Eliminates every other problem you may have in life. People ask me dating questions all the time. How do I get girl? How do I get a girl? A girl will not join a man that does not have a focus, that does not have a goal. The most attractive thing to a female is a guy with a focus. So I'm not saying have a focus in order to get girls, but I'm just saying these are byproduct. When you, I don't want people to think, well, if I focus on my ambition, then I'm not going to be able to have fun and enjoy life and have sex. No. In fact, when you have an ambition, You'll be pushing girls away. You'll be like, yo, get out of here. For some reason, they sniff that shit. They love a man that's focused and that, 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 that has direction. Why? Because women hate being second place. And because they hate being second place, they will always fight to become first place in whatever environment it is. So when you have a goal, that goal makes, makes becomes first place in your life. And that makes her second place. That's why women are so attracted to men who have goals because she realized, man, I'm secondary to this guy. He doesn't put me on the pedestal and I want to become first. So she's going to chase you your whole life until she becomes first. And your job is to make sure she stays second. No offense to women out there. But a man's priority should be his oath, his ambition. So as you watch this video, I'm about to cut it off short right now. I'm about to press the end button, pull out a piece of paper, a pencil. Don't procrastinate. Don't do it when you get home. Do it right now. Make an oath to yourself. Say I, whatever your name is, swear that before I die, or whether I die trying, I will accomplish this by this date. Wish you the best of luck. 
Team 3 fucking D.